G'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. I'm going to try and get a few jobs done before it rains. It's supposed to start raining tomorrow, we'll see. First thing I need to do is get the lawn mowed. It's been too wet but it's dried out nicely now. So I'll just do a bit of maintenance on the mower and get stuck into it. Mowing the lawn is one of my least favourite jobs. Everywhere else on the place, grass makes money. And in the case of around the house, it just costs us money. First thing I need to do is replace the blades. I think these are a 16, Dale. I'll just try it. I think that belt's got a little bit more left, life left in it. Yep, that's it. I hit a rock and bent them and I've never been able to get them just right by straightening them. So I gave up and bought new blades. Now, this thing here, this spring tension, yeah, it's not enough. No, that's what the trouble is. I just found another problem. Bearing in here. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Like the best laid plans of mice and men, it didn't work out. I've got a broken bearing. So no mow on the lawn today. My neighbour come over with a couple of snakes, wondering if I knew what they were, and I don't. I'm not a snake expert. So where did you get them snakes, Daniel? Uh, last night I went over to lock up the chickens um, and it was just, I'd left it a bit late and it was a bit dark so I took my big torch with me and on the way back to the house I uh, saw this snake crawling down off the top of the shipping container. So uh, being a brown snake, my assumption is that they're always a deadly snake so uh, I killed it and then I uh, found another one crawling on the ground. So I killed the both of them. Right. You came over and asked me what they were and I told you I'm not really sure. Yes. Did you find anyone who really knows what they are? Well, I spoke to another chap on the way over here and he assured me that they are actually a brown tree snake. Okay. Um, and are they poison? They can give you a nasty bite and they can make you sick, but they're not deadly like the taipan. Okay. So that's about all I can tell you at this stage. Okay. All right, well, don't get bitten by them. That's right. While I was talking to Daniel about the snakes, I noticed this fella get up to the fence as close as he could and trying to have a look and I wonder what was going on. I asked Daniel to take the snakes over a bit closer to him so he could have a better look and I don't think he was real impressed with them at all. He looked pretty windy of them to me. snakes. I don't know, I wouldn't have killed them. I'm outside our other block and you might be able to see in the background we have the phone tower on it. I'll just give you a quick look at it. The tree's going to get in the road. I won't be able to get to the very top of it. It's very tall. Twelve days ago we had a big lightning storm and after it we had no phone. Everybody around the district complained to Telstra that we had no phone and they told everybody all sorts of stories and we got on the phone twice, it took an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half each time and that's how long it took to even get them to admit there was a problem. So after 12 days it's going again and probably a lot of people think well so what just drive to another tower where you can get service. Well not that easy here, we're out in the bush and if someone gets hurt we've got no communication. Everybody used to have landlines but times change and along came mobile phones and Telstra's doing their best to get everyone on them and that's all good provided it keeps working. Our biggest problem isn't the phone, the problem is that we have to have service so that we can get all our authorization numbers for banking and the internet, YouTube, everything else, and that all becomes very difficult. Anyway, it's working again now, so 
everyone will be happy for a while. I charged up my drone earlier. I was going to take some pictures of the fellas up the tower, but by the time I got there, they'd finished. I don't like leaving the battery charged and letting it go flat. I'd rather use it and flatten the battery before I store the drone away. So I thought I might take it for a fly around the place and have a look at what's going on. Come for the fly and we'll see how we go. All the dams on both places are full, overflowing in fact.
thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.